everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to look at Lit Joy exclusive Alice in Wonderland book. It's absolutely beautiful. It's stenciled work. So we're going to take a look inside so you can see it all. Okay, so let's open up this beautiful Alice's Adventures in Wonderland book, a Lit Joy exclusive. As you can see, it has some beautiful illustrations from the very beginning. I love the little cutout of the bottle. It's a drink me bottle. The showed Alice. There we have the Eat Me Cake. The first 500 were signed by the illustrator, who is Rosie Thorns88. You can find her on Instagram, which is at Rosie Thorns88. Keep on looking. Here we have a list of all the art pieces. I don't know that we'll get to them all because I'm just going to open them up, but we're going to get to as many of them as we can. Got a little poem. Have the contents of the chapters. I've read this book a few times, but I am planning on reading it again just to catch all the illustrations. So here we have her falling down the rabbit hole, a very classic Alice scene. Never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. Each page goes deeper into the rabbit hole. I do believe this book is now sold out. You can take a look, and I also have a discount code in my bio if you want to check that out. I'll put it in my description as well. The pages are really thick, which is nice. I'm not going to like get ruined or bend super easy. Pool of Tears of Alice Crying. There's a lot of just illustrations as you go. This is really cool. Who with the mouse? That's not something in the movie if you're not familiar with the book. This is my all-time favorite book. I have more editions of this than anything else. This is beautiful. Caterpillar. Very classic scene. And I love how they do these letters. It's really nice. Kind of a fun way. These illustrations kind of take you deeper into it a little bit. And this is cool too. I like how even the poems are there, but they're not like evenly written. And then we have another one of these kind of pages when she was a little startled by seeing the Cheshire Cat sitting on a bow of a tree a few yards off. And you have the trees with the Cheshire. And again, it goes deeper. There's the pig. Another aspect that isn't in the Disney movie. It is in other versions, though. There was, a, I believe, a 1980s version that I absolutely loved that had all of that. And then here we have a pop-up mat tea party, which I'm always kind of nervous to open up these pop-ups all the way. Hopefully you can see. I don't know how much her chair opens up. I don't want to ruin it. But it's a mat tea party. We've got the plates and the teacup. Have the mat hatter and the mat chair. The little dormouse is there. And then Alice is in this chair at the end. A lot of chaos going on the table. Why should it, muttered the Hatter. Does your watch tell you what year it is? These are just great. Oh, the croquet. Oh, this is a beautiful illustration. Why are you painting these roses? Everybody knows the scene of the cards painting the roses red so the queen doesn't find out. I love the color theme of this. It's beautiful. This illustrator did an amazing job on this book. It's probably my fanciest Alice in Wonderland book to date. Let's see. The lobsters. Here we have another... Oh, here we have my cat. Here we have another page with some fun words as they talk. Joining the dance. Who stole the tarts? Let me see. Here's another big illustration. That's really cool. This must be when Alice grew and is a lot bigger than the Queen. And of course have the ending off with her head when Alice is starting to run before she finally wakes up. The Queen shouted at the top of her voice. Nobody moved. Who cares for you, said Alice. She had grown to her full size by this time. You can see the deck of cards. Card soldiers. You're nothing but a pack of cards. Again, I really love all the pinks. This is really pretty. I love the artwork of Alice herself as well. It's some unique artwork. And it ends with art with Alice back up near the tree with her sister. The end, and at the end, we have the Cheshire Smile. It does fit in there. 
that page. And when you flip it over, it's the Cheshire Cat. The end, and even this artwork is beautiful. The butterfly and mushrooms, the gold foil. Looks super thick with all those pages. It's a pretty heavy book, too. Very solid. If it comes back in stock or you have a chance to get it, I highly recommend. It's a beautiful book. Completely worth the money. And if you want to see some more cool books, make sure to check out my page next Thursday. Thank you for watching.